quick update, uh, fully retired, looking at Table Rock Lake right out there in the window. Um, do a lot of outside, family, whatever I decide to do when I wake up in the morning. So I had the RV, but I sold it. Uh, everybody wants an RV, so I thought the market was hot. Uh, Colorado a couple times, go to LA usually a couple times, uh, Arizona, um, anywhere I take a hankering. Yeah, a lot of basketball, but I'm not sure about this season because my mother just turned 89. Um, she doesn't live with me, but I spend a lot of time with mama. So I'm going into my second season um, with Oklahoma women's basketball. I live in Norman, Oklahoma. Been interesting uh, preseason so far um, and actually summer with Corona and all we've had to deal with. And I know Coach Mox can, I'm sure, testify to that. But uh, there's no really planning in Corona world. It's one day at a time or maybe one hour at a time as far as like who's going to be at practice and what we're allowed to do and not allowed to do. So it's it's been definitely a, a fun, interesting learning experience uh, this uh, summer and uh, fall for sure. We have to be on the court at 6.40. So um, yeah, it was very early morning. So I'm gonna blame if I do not make any sense, that's why. I, I know Coach Burnett, no excuses, but can I have one tonight, please? No. <laughs> I am currently in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, really close to my hometown. Um, married for almost 17 years now. Uh, I have a nine-year-old daughter, Ella, a seven-year-old boy, Max. It's really just fun. I'm sure as all anybody else that has kids can attest to that it's just so much fun watching them grow up. I took a new job in August. Just. Lots of crazy stuff happened in August, um, but yeah, and that's been great. I am currently a, a science teacher for a, a high school program that's shared between four districts, uh, including Cedar Rapids, um, and it's where it's um, authentic learning with, that takes place through projects that involve um, community partnerships, and so, um, it's been really fun. I'm learning a lot and my kids are in a new school. So we've had made, made a lot of adjustments as of recently. Um, but yeah, I was coaching. I do not think I'm going to be coaching uh, high school girls basketball this year. I think it's probably a good year to take a little break possibly <laughs> from that, but, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for inviting me to this. I'm so glad to see everybody. Uh, I'm back in Brazil now after living 14 years in the United States. I traveled a lot in there. I lived in Texas. I lived in Portland, Oregon. So I had a great time there. I had to come back home because my mom got sick and eventually she passed away. But life, life is good. Now I'm working as a marketing manager at 3M, uh, the company, American company. And the life has been good, even though, you know, this COVID-19, um, we I'm working from home. We are not allowed to, to go to the, to the company and work there. So, and I'm trying, you know, I, I haven't stopped working out. I've been doing my bike, my swimming, my running. So uh, I'm 44 now. That's why I'm glad I have glasses, guys, because I can't see very much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy to be here and, and see everybody. You know, if you don't do anything, you get, I mean, you get like stuck and you can't move. So I'm trying to get exercise every day now. <laughs> I haven't played basketball before. Uh, I, I, there is a club in here that the girls always ask me, come on, Erica, let's play but I was like I like nature now I want to be outside I like outdoor sports so I changed a little bit well I feel like I'm the one just still here uh, <laughs> just taking the torch going forward um, try to always be connected to Lady Bear basketball as much as I can um, really proud alumni just watching them go to the sweet 16 in this past year just dominate from tip off all the way through the season to have a number one RPI ranking, just amazing to just sit and watch and be proud of. Um, just mothering it, 
24 seven and I would take more hours if I could. Uh, I'm working with Nixa Public Schools and my junior high eighth grade season starts on Monday. So uh, got a lot of basketball ahead of us and lucky that uh, we're still blessed to be able to play. It's just, I've just been very lucky that I've been able to keep involved. I love still like getting my feet wet with scouting and looking at other teams. And the, my favorite part probably is still watching the maturation of like a freshman to senior um, and just watching, you know, especially like Alexa Willard who just had an outstanding four years and seeing the growth she has and also just seeing the fun that they're having um, and just kind of gives a glimpse of what we had so many years ago. Carly, <laughs> Carly, I'm sorry. Is that Lulu Carly still? Lulu B. We oh, are in Oregon. <laughs> We have, we so have. glad you said something about that because I was going to text her like, oh, your cat's in the picture. <laughs> this cat is on year 17 and I thought about moving her, Lulu, and um, it wouldn't have been pretty. So <laughs> she gets, <laughs> she, um, Erica Vicente and I had a year at Portland State together and it was awesome. Uh, we got to coach together and, and live in cro uh, close proximity. and. When I got Lulu, uh, when she was a little baby, 17 years ago, Erica was uh, right there along with us, uh, being a little cat sitter for us too. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so I am in Oklahoma. I moved back here in 2008 and I took a job at Bixby, but now I am a Lincoln Christian. Came here in 2004. 14 and um, I can't believe you have been here this long uh, but it has it's been a move for my family I'm actually starting my what would this be my 19th year of coaching because I actually I know isn't that not crazy there's crazy. No, there's just no way but um, I uh, when, whenever you sent me the thing for this coach Burnett I was like 20 years, what? No, no way, there's no way. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, uh, I've been coaching, this will be my 19th year because I coached at Glendale as a, um, in my, my first year right out of um, playing. So yeah, there's so many kids out there now that some kids just slip through the cracks and, and Bryce was one of those kids and you know, it was kind of wild. I was talking to her dad, he was officiating my game. How's Bryce doing in her senior year? Well, she hasn't really even had any looks. And I was like, what? So I reached out to Jackie and Jackie was like, what, you have a point guard? We just found out our point guard's not coming back. So um, they took a look at her like a couple of weeks later at a tournament here in Oklahoma. And before you know it, um, she was saying, yeah, that's, that's the kind of kid we want. And, you know, she's a coach's kid. And so she's the one that probably, you know, has, probably earned where she we, where she should have been in the first place. I was going to say personally, thank you for doing that. And thank you, Jackie. Um, now, Bryce is awesome. I, I think you guys got to see her shine last year, but she's a fifth year senior this year and one of our leaders. So I think she's going to have a great year. I live in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and I have a four-year-old daughter. I have a seven-year-old son and a 14-year-old stepdaughter and my husband, Matt and a German Shepherd that likes to shed a lot. And I'm a physical therapist. I work in home health care, so it's been really challenging and uh, hard and self-worded during all of this. Um, wearing full PPE and going into people's homes in uh, 95 degree heat was quite challenging and still is, but we're all healthy and doing well. And I just really love my family and I love being a mom. I always knew I wanted to be a mom. It just took me a little longer to get there. So that's my life. I, I returned to Brazil in 2006. And after that, I got married. I have two beautiful daughters. I have been teaching English as a second language uh, for 14 years since I returned to Brazil and I, I really enjoy that. I teach little kids and I teach all, also teenagers and adults. So I have been teach, teaching, that's my, my life pretty much. And I enjoy a lot. Uh, well, 
first I actually I have learned English, right? It was very difficult at first. Oh my god, <laughs> I suffered a lot. I think more than V actually. V could speak a little bit more than I I could, but now I think I I'm try I'm still trying really hard, you know, we're still learning. So I think that's all. Eric, I'm really proud of you. Your English is very good. Congratulations. Oh, I got it. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring up, we, we tried to implement a do not speak Portuguese in practice rule because I knew they were cussing me out the entire time. <laughs> no, no, that is not true. Oh my never, God. Never, never. I really cursed in English a couple of times. I kind of <laughs> got confused. <laughs> but not at you. Never, never. Oh, okay, you. thank never. you. Thank you. I think we cursed the referees, right? In Portuguese. <laughs> oh gosh, all the time. Yeah. That's. <laughs>